Hello, YouTubers. I thought I'd share with you a little trick. Uh, I learned this years ago, and I haven't seen people talk about it too much recently, and it's pretty useful. You can use your oscilloscope to sniff for RF noise around devices. Um, you'll, need, uh, you'll, need, you'll need only one thing, and you already have it. You'll need an antenna, a little loop antenna. Where are you going to get that? Well, I'll show you. Take your oscilloscope probe. Take the cap off. Take the ground wire. Connect it to the probe tip. You now have a little pickup loop antenna. This actually works. You can put this against your device, move it around, and you can find RF noise. Then you can use the scope to analyze that noise and figure out the frequency. You can see if there's multiple uh, signals mixing together. You can see all kinds of stuff. So let's take our little uh, loop antenna and let's go to the scope and let's sniff some noise on a few devices. So over here on the bench, I have a USB charger common thing. Everybody's got these. It's currently charging a device, which will be the next device that we're going to sniff. But we're going to see if we get any noise out of this. So let me move this over here to the side a bit. I'll see if I can get the scope up here on the screen. And we'll take our loop and we'll put it down. Oh yeah. Let's see here. Get it under the side of it. Oh man, look at that. We got some really strong signal there. Let's uh let's see if we can capture this waveform. Let me hit stop on the scope. There we go. So let's look at what we've got over here. Sorry about the reflection. You can see me and the camera in here, but let's look at the uh, waveform. So we're seeing a repeating a couple of repeating pulses coming from the uh, USB charger. Let's see if we can figure out the frequency of this noise. We can see a, a thin pulse and then we can see a stronger pulse that kind of has a ring that's fading out. We'll look at that closer in a moment. But right now I'm going to bring on the cursors. And we're going to take and put one cursor on one of these pulses right there. And the other cursor on the next pulse. Get those lined up right on the pulses. Kind of hard to do when I'm looking through the camera. There we go. And right here we can see frequency. 59.75 kilohertz. Okay, 60 kilohertz. That is the frequency of this pulse. That's probably the uh, power converters. The way these chargers work um, they have an oscillator that pulses through an inductor into a capacitor and then they vary the frequency of the pulse depending upon the load to keep the capacitor charged to 5 volts and that then feeds your output. Something like that. So that's what's going on here and we've got a 60 kilohertz signal so we could, uh, we could multiply 60 kilohertz times 2 times 3 times 4 or whatever to look at the harmonics and we could figure out exactly where the noise coming from this adapter is going to fall. And these little pulses here are happening at the same frequency, so 60 kilohertz. Let's zoom in on one of these pulses and look at that ring. Isn't that interesting? So you can see that it slams a pulse and then that causes a little ring that fades out. And that ring has frequency too. See that? So if we take and move our cursor over and we look at uh, the cycle of that ring, Okay, 2.879 uh, megahertz is the frequency of that ring that we're seeing. Um, so you're, we're going to get a little bit of interference there too, and we could take that frequency and multiply it to figure out its harmonic. So back over here on the bench, uh, let's see. We've we've discovered the interference frequency of this USB charger. What's it charging, by the way? I have to zoom out for this. This is a USB-powered bug zapper that I use here in the RV 
to, uh, well, zap bugs. <laughs> I don't like getting bit by little flying things at night. It's currently being charged. I'm going to turn it on. There we go. And all the electronics are up here in this head. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to put it on its side here so we can fit everything in the camera. I am curious to know what kind of signals we'll see in the head. So let me start the scope back up. And we'll take our little loop and we'll put it near the head. Oh yeah, we got some noise there. I'm going to take it up to 10 millivolts per division. Let me freeze that. Okay, so this is the charging, probably the charging circuit. Let's take a closer look at that. And we'll bring our cursors back up. We'll set one cursor to one pulse. We'll set the other cursor to another pulse. And we can see this is going on at 483.5 kilohertz. Now this is what I was uh, mentioning where you can see complex waveforms. So we've got this main pulse going on at 483.5 kilohertz. That's the, the charging circuit in the unit. But you can see down here, we've got a more complex waveform going on. Let me, uh, I think that's, just, yeah, there we go. Let's uh, zoom in a little further. Now you can see that we have uh, at least two different sine waves, maybe three. So there's this big peak here. Oops. This big peak to that big peak is one. And then we've got this little oscillation in between. So we have a signal that is, here we go, uh, 7.95 megahertz, just above the 40 meter band, is this larger oscillation. And the smaller wiggle is an even higher frequency, 22.9, 22.89, oops. Um, so yeah, 22.9 megahertz. So we've got three interfering signals coming off from the charging circuit in that device. Okay, let's uh, start it running again. Let's go back over here to the unit, and I'm going to check the other side of it. Let's see the middle? Mm, looks like a mess of those other freak of those other signals. What do we got up here near the push buttons? Anything? No, it looks like all the activity is back here towards the... Oops, my loop came apart. All the activities back here near the charge connector. Okay, I've got my computer sitting here. This is my laptop that I do all my work on. And I've got my loop and the scope is running. Let's see what we can see. Oh, there's something interesting. There it is. See, with the loop you can kind of pinpoint things. That looks like data bursts. Let's capture that. Well, there's there's a couple. Let's uh, let me run that again. I'm going to see if I can get more, get stronger here. Find the find the spot where they're coming from. There it is. Right there. There we go. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And it repeats. Those are data bursts. This is on the trackpad. That could be the data being read from the trackpad. Let's see how often it's being read. Let's uh, put our cursors on the last packet. There we go. 904 kilohertz, almost one megahertz. It looks like that data burst is happening almost uh, one million times a second. And we've got a smaller wiggle in there. See that? Let's figure out what that frequency is. So we'll go from the peak to the peak. Ah, it's hard to do. There we go. 
50 megahertz. Ah, no wonder. I've always noticed when I had my computer on that I see a little bit of noise on six meters. <laughs> so look at that. There's some clock or something running in that laptop that's right at 50 megahertz. Let's run the scope again and see if we can find something around the screen. Oh, oh, look at that. Let's speed her up a little bit so we can see, oh no, slower down. I wonder if I can get the trigger to fire on that. There it is. There's a lot of digital noise, but we got something going on right there. Is it repeating? Yeah. Doesn't look like it's at a steady speed though, see that? That could be data going to the screen, but it's it's changing in frequency. If I freeze, we can see between two pulses there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five divisions. One, two, three, four divisions to that one. So it's changing in frequency, whatever that pulse is. And it looks like a bouncy square wave. See that? It's a square wave with a ring on it. It's ringing here and it's ringing here. So there's some kind of a, uh, I don't know, sync pulse or something going to the screen. Yeah, it's got a similar pattern. You can see the ring there. Look at this ring here. We have the square wave with its ring, and then we have this um, ring that happens after it, right there. Interesting. So yeah, it's kind of fun sniffing around with a scope probe, seeing what kind of noise you can find. So there you go. A little oscilloscope trick you can use to pick up noise, or figure out noise, or sniff noise. Hope you found that interesting. And uh, somebody's going to ask in the comments what scope that is that I was using. Well, let's just call this video a teaser. You're going to have to wait till the next video to find out what scope that was. See you then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.